the question is why does an anti-reflective coating use a different equation than thin films because isn't it a thin film and so the answer is the film does not have the highest index of refraction actually the glass behind it has the highest index of refraction we're not used to that we're used to having the index of refraction of the thin film itself as the highest so now in anti-reflective coatings both waves uh, uh, when they are reflected are undergoing a phase shift of 180 degrees whereas with um, just regular thin films only one of the waves the wave that was bouncing off or the wave that was reflecting off the top was undergoing a phase shift of 180 degrees so only the one in that case and that's because the uh, index of refraction of the thin film was the highest what does that mean for the equations it means that we actually switch, so we're switching the equations for constructive and destructive interference now. Okay, so the equation you would use for constructive interference in thin films, you would now use for destructive interference in anti-reflective coatings, which are also thin films again, uh, but these anti-reflective films no longer have the highest index of refraction and you can see we switched the equations for destructive interference.